So here we are now doing a depreciation schedule based on units of activity. In this case, it's a truck, so it's mileage that we're tracking here. So we've got the date of the purchase at, uh, at June 30.06. And let's see the number of years of life. Well, that's not so material in this issue because we're, we're depreciating it by the mile. And so that's, it's actually going to be the estimated number of units of life. It's going to be 300,000. Okay, which we got uh, shown over here. Okay, we've got the cost is 40,000. The salvage value is 4,000. And so our depreciable cost again is 3,600, 36,000. Okay, so we use the we deduct the salvage value for straight line and uh, units of activity depreciation, but we do not for double declining balance. So here we are. We can take our $36,000 and divide it by three, $36,000 depreciable cost. So it equals to $36,000 depreciable cost divided by the 300,000 units. And that, ah, I got to get my decimal points up here. Boom, boom. That's... 12 cents a mile, okay, that is going to be our depreciation rate. So we come over here, our depreciation rate equals the number of miles for that year times, I can come over here to that rate, or I could just enter the 0.12, but I'll keep with our system there, that's $5,400. I don't need to uh, have pennies in here, okay? So that's 5,400 based on the mileage, okay? We bought it on June 30th, but that doesn't matter because we're only basing depreciation based on the mileages used in that particular year. So we're not having to divide by two in this case, okay? The accumulated depreciation equals the prior years, which was zero, plus the current year's depreciation expense. Our book value on purchase was still 40000 So our book value after the first year's depreciation equals our 40000 minus depre accumulated depreciation at the end of the year after booking our expense. So now I'm going to come up here, and that's uh, 34. I'm going to drop a dollar sign there, so we anchor in on that 40000 as I copy down. So now I'm going to, you know, I've anchored, I've got to anchor that uh, 0.12, that's column H. So I'm going to anchor on that row 36. Boom, now I can copy down this formula all the way down. Okay, aha. You see here in our fourth year, we end up over depreciating the asset. We cannot do that. So we're at 1,000. We need 4,000. So I got to take 3,000. So that's 7,200. It's the most I can depreciate it in that fourth year. And in the fifth year, that's it. We have, even regardless of, of uh, the number of years, it is based on the estimated miles. So in the fourth year, We've uh, fully depreciated it down to our $4,000 there. And there's our depreciation schedule based on units of activity. Now, remember, our estimated was $300,000. Our actual total, let's see what we had here. I'll come and get our total actual mileage there, was $400,000. So by the end of the third year, we were still, we were way beyond our estimated $300,000. So, but remember... When we started off, we have estimated the number of miles that this truck is going to be good for, and we base our depreciation on that. And we just have to, we cannot over depreciate the asset, so we have only got four years of depreciation expense. So there you go. That's how to do, to create the units of activity depreciation schedule for a fixed asset. So the next presentation will be journalizing transactions and that will be journalizing for the double declining balance example so i'll see you there